Welcome back outdoor enthusiasts. We're at TristaChoppingGuide.com and today we're in the outdoors. In this video, two stand-up inflatable paddleboard brands will be going head-to-head. -head. We have the Bluefin Cruise inflatable paddleboard and the Atoll inflatable paddleboard. Helping you complete your summer itinerary, stand-up paddleboards are easy-to-use accessories for kayaking, surfing, and even doing overwater yoga. As compared to regular paddleboards, they have heavier and thicker frames that offer more resistance to bigger waves but might be harder to maneuver. Adding the inflatable feature into the mix, these units now have a lightweight, durable, and soft profile so you wouldn't get bruises from the fall. In today's stand-up inflatable paddleboards review, we have picked two of the most daring contenders, the Bluefin Cruise Inflatable Paddleboard and the Atoll Inflatable Paddleboard, which have both locked in five badges from our team at TristedChoppingGuide.com. To help you find your winning piece, we're setting up these two challengers in today's brand wars. If you are interested in other stand-up inflatable paddleboards that we have reviewed, do check out our stand-up inflatable paddleboard review video link below. If you want direct links to the products themselves, all these links are also listed below too. So without further ado, let's start the brand wars. The first category that these stand-up inflatable paddleboards will be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with is their materials and build quality. Since these items support your weight while being exposed to the sun, the sea, or the pool, you will have to get one with a heavy-duty material and build. Because you have wide range of options, you have to know the conditions where you're going to use and practice with your board. The Bluefin Cruise Inflatable Paddleboard starts the race strong with its exosurface laminate technology that offers UV resistance and rigid construction. Its toughness is supported by 11,200 stitches of 500 denier space yarn per square meter, so no air or water will get into your board. They can also withstand 28 pounds of force per square inch, making them perfect for surfing during windy seasons. On the left corner, we have the Atoll Inflatable Paddleboard trying to keep the match close with its machine-laminated dual-layer polyvinyl chloride that offers more consistency than its competitor. With this, the board is firm even right out of the box when it is not yet inflated. It also has a thickness that is not easy to tear or scratch. To top it off, Atoll uses a Korean drop stitch technology that doesn't dip even after a heavy weight falls on it. Both of our challengers started strong in the first round, but the machine laminated dual layer of the Atoll inflated paddleboard earned the first win. The second category that these two brands will be going toe to toe with is their deck pad quality. The deck pad can make or break your paddleboard experience. This is the place where you will be balancing yourself while standing, sitting, or laying flat. If you choose a pad that is too slippery, you may get knocked over by a big wave too easily. But if you choose a sticky surface, it might be harder for you to switch positions. A high-quality deck pad offers the right amount of grip and softness to help you stay afloat. If you go for the Atoll Inflatable Paddleboard, you will have a soft ethylene vinyl acetate or EVA foam that can give you soft support after falling. It also has the right amount of adhesiveness to prevent you from losing balance and slipping when the board is wet. But the Bluefin Cruise Inflatable Paddleboard won't back down without a fight. Bluefin Cruise's deck is covered with a non-slip Croco Diamond deck pad for maximum traction and grip. That's not all, it also has a kick pad that will help you make quick, sharp turns and not change your posture or lose your footing. Whether you're a beginner or a water sports expert, the Bluefin Cruise Inflatable Paddleboard will make sure you feel secure on top of the deck, so we're crowning it the winner of this category. The third category that these two brands will be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with is their riggings and tie-downs. Now that you've seen the deck department, the next feature on your list should be the layout of the rings and bungee tie-downs. These are for tying your board to your car or mounting it to the wall while not in use. If you'd like to use them during your water sports sessions, you can also use them to secure your foot on your board or have a marker of your preferred stance and positioning. You can also use the riggings and tie-downs to hold your accessories such as the lease, carrying bag, or compact air inflator. The Bluefin Cruise Inflatable Paddleboard has an easy conversion kit that has 14 D-rings. You have 4 on the front and 4 on the back for the backpack-like carriage and 6 on the sides to support your kayak adventures. Meanwhile, the Atoll Inflatable Paddleboard has 15 D-rings of which 6 are placed in front to secure bigger tote bags and to create a better backing for kayak sessions. 
The other six are located on the perimeter of the deck, with three on each side and only one on the back. Since preferences are varied, placings are subjective, so we are calling the first tie of the match. If you'd prefer an even distribution of weight or an even attachment of storage, you will definitely enjoy the Bluefin Cruise inflatable paddleboard. But if you'd like a bigger space and a heftier front, the Atoll inflatable paddleboard is a terrific choice for you. The fourth category that these two brands will be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with is their capacity. Water sports are a great way to bond with family and friends, and paddleboards will make sure to help you with that. As the years pass by, manufacturers have created bigger boards with commodious space and promising weight capacity. We have the frame of the Bluefin Cruise inflatable paddleboard, which has a 10.8 foot length, a 32.5 inch width, and a 6 inch thickness. With this, the board can support 287 pounds of weight, so you can easily carry your pet or kid with you when you're surfing in shallow waters. On the flip side, the Atoll inflatable paddleboard stretches the competition with its 11 foot long, 32 inch wide, and 6 inch thick frame. With this, the board can withstand 400 pounds of weight so you can add two-person kayaking and surfing to your beach day itinerary. In this round, we are hailing the crowd-friendliness of a tall inflatable paddleboard as our victor. The fifth and final category that these two brands will be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with is their fin selection. Helping you with speed and precise turns, the fin prevents the tail and the sides from receiving too much pressure. They also help you perfect a strong surfing posture so you won't sprain your ankle or injure your legs, back, or shoulders. They are also perfect to add when you're starting to learn new techniques or tricks in surfing. Both of our contenders have a triple fin that is secured neatly on the deck. For the Atoll inflatable paddleboard, the two side fins cannot be detached and only the center fin is removable. This is perfect for high tides when you will have to deal with bigger waves, since the side fins are not going to accidentally get lost and make the manipulation of your deck harder. On the other hand, the Bluefin Cruise inflatable paddleboard has engineered US box fin system, where all three fins are removable. This option makes it easier for beginners who would like to try surfing or kayaking straightly or those who are just starting to learn how to turn. If you attach one fin to one side, you can build muscle memory and change directions towards your dominant side comfortably. Just like in the third round, different features will benefit different levels, so we're going to call yet another tie. If you're used to one way of using a board or you're just starting to learn more about twists and turns above water, the Bluefin Cruise inflatable paddleboard has got you covered. But if you're a surfer during windy seasons, the Atoll inflatable paddleboard will help you overcome massive waves. We have now arrived at the end of the brand wars between the Bluefin Cruise inflatable paddleboard and the Atoll inflatable paddleboard. Despite the close match with two ties, the Atoll inflatable paddleboard came out on top with its two-point award that won against the one-round victor of the Bluefin Cruise inflatable paddleboard. You can rely on Bluefin Cruise to support strong posture, but the victor Atoll has your back in terms of build, frame, and capacity. And there you have it folks, the battle between the Bluefin Cruise inflatable paddleboard and the Atoll inflatable paddleboard has finally ended. If you have any contenders for our next stand-up inflatable paddleboard face-off which you would like our team to test, do drop it in the comment section below and we'll be sure to assess them for our next update. If you liked this video and it helped you in any way, please do give it a like and hit the subscribe button so that you can stay connected and updated with all of our research into everything that makes our outdoors great. We look forward to seeing you at thetrustedshoppingguide.com again soon.